Chapter 1151 No wonder this driver is scared. You know, they haven't even seen a ghost or person on these dozens of kilometers of mountain road. It was really frightening to see a person standing in the middle of the road in the middle of the night. Fran was also dumbfounded, staring blankly at the young people getting closer and closer in the middle of the road, blurting out, this is really a person. The man outside the car and in the middle of the road looked very young with a smile on his face. His face was relaxed and indifferent, incompatible with the cold and snowy Gala mountains around him. This person is Alex. At this time, Adam Smith and others hid in the dark 15 meters behind Alex. Alex confessed to them that they could just watch the show, but could not show up. The driver looked at Alex nervously and said, Brother, there is someone standing here so late. It looks weird. Maybe it's specifically for us. Fram thought for a while and immediately said, This person dares to wait here alone for us. He wants to come here by no means waiting. Maybe there are any traps waiting for us. Let's stop and walk over to see what happens. At this moment, Alex, holding the thunder order in his hand, felt calm in his heart. He dared to stand in the middle of the road, so he was not afraid of the heavenly kings driving him over. This thunder thundering order can attract sky thunders at any time. If the heavenly kings don't get out of the car, they face the gongs and the drums, and then they can directly use two sky thunders to split their car down the cliff and end the battle. Fortunately, Fram did not underestimate the enemy, and the two cars slowly stopped at a distance of more than 10 meters from Alex. Afterwards, the heavenly kings all got off. Fram strode to the front, looking at Alex through the car lights, and said coldly, Boy, who are you? You just blocked Heavenly Kings. Alex smiled slightly and said, My name is Anderson, Alex Anderson, and the most famous live-in son-in-law in Oris Hill is me. Fram was shocked. When I was in the car just now, I was still talking about Alex, everyone was still thinking, if Alex was here, it would be nice to kill him all at once. But I never dreamed that he would actually appear here. And this seems a bit unreasonable. When he set off, he was still in Oris Hill. Why did he arrive earlier than he did when he arrived here? I don't think it is scientific. However, he quickly put this question behind his head, looked at Alex, and asked in a cold voice, Alex Anderson, did you know that we would be here? That's right, Alex smiled lightly and said, I thought the Heavenly Kings are some great people. I didn't expect them to be ten old gentlemen. You all should be 500 years old together. The brothers of Fram are indeed quite old, and the youngest one is already over 50 years old, so the total of the 10 people is over 500 years old. At this time, seeing himself and his juniors being so despised by Alex, Fram said in a cold voice of dissatisfaction. Today, I didn't want to take your life, but I still want to keep your dog and wait for my senior brother. I didn't expect that there is a way to heaven, you won't go, and there is no way to hell, you will break in. That's fine, lest we go to Oris Hill ourselves again. Alex smiled and said, take my head? It depends on whether you have this ability. Stop talking nonsense, Fram snorted coldly, and said, Alex, my ten heavenly kings are definitely not a vain name. I have not lost for dozens of years. Today I let my youngest brother fight for the ten of us. He is known as Dan of Iron Fist, and many died under his hands. He will not lose in this life. After listening to him, Alex with a scornful smile, sneered, Dan of Iron Fist? Very good, today he can die in the hands of the real dragon, Alex, it is also the good fortune he cultivated in several lifetimes. At this time, a strong middle-aged man among the ten great heavenly kings screamed, walked to the front, pointed at Alex and shouted angrily, Mao Tao boy, you are also worthy of killing me? Watch me blow your dog's head with a punch.